Hello there. So I told you guys I was going to be uh, comparing the VapeTech Pegasus, which is the one right here with the uh, APO atomizer on it, to the FastTech version. Now everybody knows the uh, VapeTech is a very, very nice piece. Uh, Twisted 420 already did a pretty in-depth review on this one. Voltage dropped uh, was better than the original. Everything is really nice on it, the threads and everything. And um, well, okay, let's start. Let's start with the uh, the vape deck. I'll just go over it real quick. Engravings are very nice. The threads are very nice. Um, it's a really nice piece. I, I really there's nothing. I can't really fault it with except one thing. Uh, this piece right here, the adjustable uh, pin, floating pin, it's a little too floaty. Comes right out. But it, it's still uh, snug enough in there so that it won't really hinder performance or, or anything. I just found that kind of weird that the uh, floating pin would just like come right out like that uh, so there you know how this works you just adjust this for battery rattle and uh, the other part in the Delrin here is floating so when you screw in your Addy it uh, adjusts to uh, whatever kind of uh, 510 connection whoops a little bit of battery rattle gonna take it out a bit Took it out a little bit too much. <sighs> Boom. There you go. By the way, this APO, oh, I love this thing. I just got this this, uh, this morning. This is probably the best all day vape I, uh, I ever had so far out of any atomizers that, that I've tried. But anyway. This is not about the APO, this is about the Pegasus clones. Mm. Damn, that's good. Oh. Vaping on some uh, woody, woody cider from uh, Gaelic. This looks like a really small bottle, and it is, but I've got like the big 100ml bottles, and I just, uh, this is their sample packs. I just refilled this one with the big one. But anyway, um, yeah, it was a little bit dirty out of uh, out of the box. It came in a nice box. This one came in a Ziploc bag, and a Ziploc, a really cheap Ziploc bag too. Like the kind of bag that if if you stare at it too long, it'll probably like rip apart. But anyways, really nothing wrong with this one. Everything was very nice out of the box. Got this one from uh, Vaptasia. It was uh, around $40. Now, the Fastech version, which is, uh, it was, I believe it was 23 when I bought it at first, but I think they raised the price up to 26 maybe because they were selling out so fast. These things are going like uh, hotcakes, and uh, there's a good reason why. These are really, really good uh, mods right here. Really good clones. Uh, difference? Not much difference. Honestly, I think these two, if if they're not made by the same manufacturer, they're using the same machines and the same. Uh, same everything, same, the, the, the only visual different differences you can really see, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on camera, you see the, the, uh, the Fastec one has just like a checker pattern, pattern on the, uh, the locking ring, while this one has more like little pyramids sticking out of the locking ring. But aside from that, engravings are the same. Uh, Fast Tech one uh, is a little uh, is a few days older than uh, the Vape Tech. That's why it's uh, 
that there's a little difference in color there. It's starting to get a little uh, brownish patina. These things patina really fast. Uh, yeah, aside from that, you're basically, I think you're paying $14 extra for the vape tech because it comes in a box and it comes with magnets in the switch instead of a spring. This one has a spring in it. I'm not gonna take him apart. Ugh. Should I? Should I take? No. And uh, yeah, everything's interchangeable from one to the other, smooth as butter. Everything is exactly identical on both. I really think they're these are just being made by the same manufacturer. I don't know, but um, I did some uh, voltage drop tests too. And uh, bear in mind, this is not like the end all of everybody wants to know hey man the voltage drop the voltage drop in that mod what's the voltage drop yeah okay voltage drop will make a bit of difference if you're in a competition or trying to blow the biggest clouds or whatever but it's not the most important thing the most important thing is a good build super sub on build you're wicking if you're you can have the best mod in the world zero voltage drop and everything if you're gonna build like a shitty coil in there and a wicket all crappy and don't have enough airflow or whatever it's gonna suck it's gonna suck so take it for what it is the voltage drop on the um, fast tech version was point thirteen. Now I know. Oh man, it's supposed to be point zero seven, point zero eight. I am not using a uh, volt meter that you screw on to your mod and then screw on your atomizer. Uh, when I do my voltage drop tests, I do my voltage drop tests with a multimeter and I put the uh, negative down on the negative deck, well, on the deck and I put the positive on the positive post and then I fire it and that's how I uh, read my voltage drop test so obviously you're gonna get more of a drop when you're uh, doing it this way rather than uh, calculating the drop at your uh, 510 connection so uh, 0 0.07, 0 0.08 is still very very plausible if you're uh, if you're measuring at the uh, deconnection instead of how I'm doing it. Uh, so yeah, point 13 on the Fastec version. The Vatec version had a point 12. It's a point 0.01 difference. And if, if it read down to the uh, to the hundred, maybe the difference is like point 0.001, point 0.002. And then the multimeter, the multimeter is just reading slightly uh, will give me like a higher reading lower reading just based on this point zero zero something difference between the two so it's the same thing to me it's the same thing and just for kicks I um, I measured the voltage drop on the nemesis uh, with and without the hybrid just to compare the uh, hybrid uh, adapter that you get they sell for a brass hybrid adapter for for the nemesis anyway. Uh, maybe I should cover that in, the, in another video or something. Anyway, uh, the uh, Nemesis without the hybrid adapter gave me a 0.18, and with the hybrid adapter, I got a 0.17. Uh, a few weeks ago, I did uh, measure with and without the hybrid adapter, and I got a it was a much lower ohm uh, build though, like 0 0.0 something, 0 0.08, 0 0.09 and I actually had less voltage drop without the hybrid adapter but this time I got a 0 0.01 better voltage drop with the hybrid adapter I don't know but anyway uh, it still means that these two are uh, 
performing better than the uh, copper nemesis from each cigar, which I, uh, as soon as I, I started to do some cloud chasing and uh, testing with these, uh, with these mods, I, I didn't even have to take the uh, multimeter out and, and do the voltage drop test. It was already apparent to me that these were hitting harder than the copper nemesis. Granted, it's not that much of a difference. It's like 0 0.05, but 0 0.05 it's, it starts to notice. You, you you can start noticing a 0 0.05 drop. Oh, and the, all these tests were done with a uh, 1.07 ohm uh, build that I had in a K fun laying around. So yeah, there you go. Okay downsides on the fast deck it came all dirty you really have to clean that thing up there uh, there were machining burrs everywhere on the threads uh, in the switch little parts of uh, copper uh, the, and since it's not in a padded box like the vape tech version the top cap uh, got banged around probably uh, in the mail and uh, you, I don't know if you can don't no, don't mind the uh, the marks on here. That's just from f screwing, unscrewing uh, atomizers. But on the sides here, maybe you know, yeah, you see there. There's one there. There's another one here. It's just like little dents on the the, the corner. Sorry, on the corner of the uh, the top cap there. So basically, same mod. Performs the same, looks the same, feels the same. Everything's interchangeable with uh, between them. Pretty sure it's made from the same manufacturer. Like I said, only difference is the little uh, dimplings on the lock ring. Uh, dumplings. I mean dimples. Whatever. <laughs> I'm French. Give me a break. Um. Yeah. But. They vape really, really nice. Let's change from this one to the other one. I really don't notice. I've, tr I've tried and tested a bunch of atomizers from one to the other using always the same battery. Now I have Both of them have a fully charged uh, battery in there. And uh, I can't tell the difference. I can't tell. I, I can't even really tell the difference between the spring and the magnets. The magnets might be a little, a little tighter push then the spring but really not by much oh something funky going on here oh, okay it's just the switch wasn't uh, screwed down properly felt kind of janky for a second there Ah, there you go. Nice throw on this switch. This is the magnets. And you don't even have to uh, lock it. Well, eventually when you're super sub the the, the uh, magnets will lose a little bit of, uh, of power. But right now, you can set it down. You don't even have to lock it. I never do that though, I always lock it. Uh, and here's the uh, spring. It's a little looser, it's a little easier of a, of a push. This atomizer man, ugh. So I'm not going to do any cloud chasing or anything in this video. I already did a little uh, cloud chasing video, trying this, uh, testing this uh, this is the fast tech version and uh, it performed awesome this these two are taking the place of my uh, copper nemesis as a uh, my go-to mod for uh, for uh, cloud chasing yep. I still love my copper nemesis nothing wrong with it uh, still a very very great uh, mod 
I'm always gonna have a, a, a nice big place in my heart for my cop and nemesis which has always been performing great uh, but uh, the, these two uh, do hit uh, a little bit harder than the, uh, the copper nemesis well in my opinion maybe you don't feel the same way but I doubt it I doubt it you're probably wrong <laughs> Yep. All right. I need to wrap this up. Ooh, getting a little dry. Ah, I really love, really, really love these things. So anyway, yeah, uh, you're not getting getting much more with the uh, Vape Tech, the official Vape Tech version, than you are with the Fast Tech version. So if you want to save. 14 bucks and you don't mind a few you're probably gonna have a few dings on there and the top cap there because uh, I'm not the only one who got the uh, the dings on the top cap from uh, buying the uh, fast tech version you're gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning and uh, maybe uh, sanding some burrs off and stuff it's it's just a little well less um, less quality control with the fast tech version than the vape tech but I'm sure it's the same it's the same fucking manufacturer. I don't know if anyone can confirm this or not, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. This is a point twenty seven build, by the way, in here. Point twenty seven. And it vapes awesome. So there you have it, people. 